And welcome to this edition of Media Minute. For this episode, we're talking Mockbusters, Twin Films, and G.I. Joe. We'll be back right after this. Welcome to Media Minute. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. And uh, happy Easter. <laughs> happy Easter. It's Easter. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good little long weekend. It's cold here, though. Yeah, it's snowing right now. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it's April. Yep. But, hey, northern Canada, I guess. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what have you been doing with your uh, your long weekend time? Uh, watching a lot of G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe, the original 80s cartoon? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hasbro. uh they have a YouTube channel, yeah. By the way, <laughs> and uh, they've been running nonstop, twenty four seven, GI Joe episodes. How's that been holding up? Man, I forgot how. I I, I watched GI Joe as a kid, definitely. Yeah, I I didn't realize how crazy that show is. <laughs> a little weird. Like, yeah, yeah. They they. I mean, they cut all the episodes are kind of bleeding together because I've been watching it nonstop. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of all fog. But uh, there's one episode where they get out of a sticky situation by yodeling to okay. cause an avalanche. For sure. It's like, hey, this is yodel. <laughs> or they blow up Count Dracula's castle and steal his body. Literally Count Dracula. Yeah. They okay. steal his body. Is that uh... – And not just Dracula. Napoleon, Alexander the Great, they just go around and steal him like – well, story. well they you said to make somebody or something, don't they? Yeah, I think they made a monster. Yeah, yeah, it's uh GI Joe got nuts, man. It did. It did. Uh, most I remember is the uh the movie, or the movies where things get like super wild. Yeah. Yeah. That snake dude, he's like half he's like, like a mermaid but half snake. Well, well uh, yeah. Uh yeah. and Cobra Commander gets turned into like a snake with like 18 eyes. It's, it's weird. And it's like yeah. he, he goes the entire movie going, I was a man, <laughs> a man. <laughs> yeah, Cobra Commanders have got reasons to be mad. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure G.I. Joe is the sole reason I want to own a hovercraft. I mean, who doesn't? How cool would that be? There was one for for auction by like the government of Canada like a couple of years back. Oh, yeah, there was, wasn't there? Yeah. I think it was like one of the ones because oh, uh, I think in Vancouver they used to have like hover uh, the like uh, one of the Jackie Chan movies money. like they, they shot there and he broke his foot while jumping onto the hovercraft. Yeah, yeah, I forget which that one was that fact. was. Yeah, uh, Bronx, Rumble in the Bronx, maybe because that was kind of uh, peak peak Chan. Yeah, yeah, because he did peak look, American Chan. Peak American, yeah, because he did like a whole bunch of like Hong Kong movies uh, beforehand. Yeah, Drunken Master, that was great. Drunken Master, yeah, uh, it's like Police Story and stuff like that. You had this guy that, like, it would be like the same cast every time, but it, it'd just be in different situations. There's this guy who would always like play his <laughs> uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jackie Chan kind of felt, he just kind of stopped making movies, didn't he? Well, I mean, I mean yeah, he's, he's he's getting on. He's getting like, up there, and plus he was. His body must be like yeah. Uh, I can't even imagine wrecked at this like, point. I'm recovering from a minor back injury, and <laughs> I've never jumped onto a hovercraft. No, and broke your foot. Yeah, I would. Because I remember they had to like they had to make this cover for his cast that to look like a sneaker to yeah, film like the uh, right. rest of the film because they had always have uh, bloopers. At the end of yeah, during the credit scene, during the credits, uh, yeah. so you can see where uh, things got messed up. Oh, he's like clothesline on himself. And yeah, Jackie Chan is man. Yeah, like late night. I understand see. why he'd hang it up. Yeah, like he 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 went above and beyond. Yep. Plus, there's this like weird that. clip of him online where he's like dressed as Chung Lee from Street Fighter 2. I forget what the context what? is of that. Really? Yep. It's something that we might have to throw in there for. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to, I'll try to um, dig that up. Yeah. I don't know if I want that on my work computer, though. <laughs> Chung, Chung Lee, or Jackie Chan is uh, Chung Lee. Yeah. <laughs> might get me in trouble. With who? I don't know. The authorities. Yeah. Some drones might show up and tell you to suppress your soul. Oh, <laughs> I've 
been doing some drone flying all weekend. Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah, we hope to actually, once things warm up, like actually get out and. Yeah, we're taking this on the road. Yeah. We want to show you some of those like crazy uh, chainsaw carvings here in town. Yeah. Like, like we have an awesome one right out front. Yeah. But we just can't show you. I mean, I guess they have dragged the camera outside, but. Yeah. Who wants to do that? It'd be all clunky and out of focus. Yeah. So. So yeah, we'll we'll get around to that eventually. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of like GI Joe. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, I can talk about GI Joe all day. Yeah. Well, well what up? You got something else? Yo Joe. Yo Joe. Yeah. I'm wildly out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I was gonna readjust here. There we go. That's, yeah. That's a little better. No one's half the battle. It is. The other half is red lasers and blue lasers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. We'll come back to the knowing half is, is half a battle. Yeah. But. There was one episode where a bunch of Joes, this is like the later episodes when like Sergeant Slaughter was around. Yeah, yeah. So there, there was like Duke, yep. Flint, and uh, Hawk. Yep. Like there, was, there was a lot of characters going on. But yeah, a bunch, a bunch of the G.I. Joes jump into a pool. Yep. And Cobra Commander is like, thinks it's a good idea. He's like, hey, we'll shoot our lasers into the pool that they're in. Yeah. Because it'll heat the, basically boil them alive. Yeah. That didn't work. No, no. Terrible idea. I think... I, oh, oh, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no one's half the battle. Yeah. Yeah, they teach you how to, like, apply sunscreen properly. For sure. How to share. Yeah. Yeah. They ha- teach you how to... Uh, there's actually one they teach how to yeah. blow something up properly. <laughs> it's like a stop, drop, and roll yeah. thing, I think, yeah. Yeah. I, I think it was... Because uh, there was, like, a, a 90s... G.I. Joe as well. I remember like a scene where one of them like jumps out of a plane and they shoot their gun downwards to slow their fall. Now, the physics involved in that <laughs> are questionable. Is questionable. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that was like uh, like G.I. Joe Extreme or something like that. Nothing beats like the 80s one, though. I mean, it's worth a shot. Yeah. But yeah, well, if what, you don't what have your parachute, options, right? just shoot down. Yeah. That's, Maybe I'll slow you. A bit. Yeah, I, I'm sure the math uh, doesn't doesn't really work out for that. Plus, you'd have to have a lot of bullets or lasers. Yeah, like how, I don't I don't know how many uh, yeah. shots you get off with a battery. I mean, there is like a slight kickback. So I mean, there is there. Yeah, That's when amazing. when you shoot a gun, it kicks back, right? So, like a gun. Yeah, if you if you're it, firing off rounds, it, it would offset your your descent slightly, but not by much. But a laser? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I think I feel lasers are pretty. Uh, Yes. Yep. I've never fired a laser, so I don't know. I can only speculate. No, no. I haven't fired a laser either. Yeah, to to, to my dismay. Yep. One day. (laughs) I hope to shoot a laser. I don't know what I'd shoot it at. Probably a rock. Yeah. Like granite. Yep. Man, we got into a weird (laughs) area. Well, I mean, G.I. Joe is weird. It really is. Yep. And but I still want to have a craft. <laughs> I, yeah, like seriously, who doesn't? And and they and they try to teach you a lesson at the end of every episode. Yeah, well, which was like, like back in the eighties, they had to do that, like <laughs> officially. It's like yeah, it's got to have some sort of educational content, or the kids will will be bad. Yeah, like don't try to beat the train. Yep. Like, does that? Like, isn't that a parent's job? <laughs> like, G.I. Joe's responsibility is I, to, like, don't try to get across the tracks before the train gets you? Yeah. I remember that being, like, a major, like, safety campaign, though. Like, just in general. Yeah. Yeah, it was, actually. Y- yeah. Now that you mentioned Like, Because like, I guess kids were, were trying to beat the train too much. I blame Stand By Me. Yeah. Yeah. I know here in town, it's like... Amazing. We have a train that goes, like, right through the center of town here. Yeah. And it can, like, block traffic for, like, a half hour. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. Yeah. I've considered, like, trying to get through. <laughs> it's like, all right. If I time it. this right. Yeah. I could probably make it. I, I don't have enough faith in my athletic ability to uh, to even think about it. Well, you don't, have, you don't have to go between the cars. You can go under. There's a yeah. lot more space. I've put way too much thought in You're this. there or, like, cr- climb up the side over and... But by the time you did that, you'd be like halfway. <laughs> well, you walk, yeah, yeah, you preempt it. You walk down yeah. like towards the post office. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we do in small towns. <laughs> yeah. This is how much this train <laughs> goes through town that affects us, that we have strategies. It really is a nightmare. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Now you walk towards the post office. Yeah. And they time it right. So by the time you get off or through. Yeah. You should be back by like. Yeah, yeah, but you'd be on the main street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got this figured out. <laughs> how, did, how did we go from G.I. Joe to this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. The, the, yeah. Like there was always like major train safety campaigns. Yeah. 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 Apparently they, they can like if there's like a real like serious emergency, they can unhook it real quick. I, I, I don't believe them. Yeah. I mean, because you got this cluster of cars. Yeah. It's crazy. Sorry. I'm yeah, because, like, I'm literally, like, like, an ambulance could get, like, stuck there for, like, a half hour. Yeah. So, I don't know. It's scary. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we were talking about stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, G.I. Joe came out same time as, like, Transformers. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, there was always the rivalry between the GoBots and the Transformers. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. And both of them had movies that came out about the same time. Did, they, did yeah. GoBots have a movie? The GoBots had a movie. What? It was called Rise. Uh, hold on, hold on. I, Are I you think, pull it up? I think it's Rise of the Rock Lords or something like that. The rock Lords? Yeah. It's not like rock and roll either. It's like, no. just like rock things. But Like minerals? Yeah. Uh, officially, the, the uh, GoBots came out before the Transformers. They, they are the really? OG. Yeah, yeah. The original Transforming Robots. But, of hmm. course, history uh, went with the uh, Transformers. Yeah. yeah. It's like... Uh, it's Michael Bay. Yeah. It's like Oreos. Like there was like a, a version and it was called like Hydrolux. It had like the worst name for like a cream filled cookie. It was like Hydrolux or something like that. And then Oreo came out and nobody remembers like Hydrolux. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... Yeah. I didn't know Oreos had competition. Well, yeah. Well, back, yeah. In, back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a VHS and... Babe Max. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently uh, the superior uh, format lost. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, beta. Apparently had better video. I, I think like a lot of uh, maybe like TV stations and stuff uses beta because it was slightly higher quality. But yeah, that was kind of the thing. And uh, remember uh, HD DVDs and Blu-rays? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not Blu-rays. Yeah. I still use Blu-rays. Well, actually, no, I don't. Well, um, from time to time. If I'm watching House, insert weird Japanese movie trailer right here. <laughs> House. House. <laughs> but, but they say the, the winner of those like format wars is always the one that the uh, adult films adopt. Yeah, is that? That, is it, that huh? seems to be the case. So. Huh. Yeah, but why would they pick that one? Why? Why? Why did they choose cheaper? Does anyone know why? Uh, I don't know, but yeah, apparently they they adopted VHS and then they adopted Blu-ray, so those were the formats that kind of won. Hmm. I guess it would be kind of weird watching porn on Laserdisc. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flip it. Yeah. <laughs> Got to go to side B. Or yeah, side yeah. Okay, yeah. so I okay, they're going for uh, efficiency, I suppose. Yeah, that that's like laser discs too, man. Those, yeah, they're huge. They're yeah, amazing. well, they were they, they're record side, yeah. record size CDs basically. As someone who has a vinyl collection, I'm pro laser disc. Yeah, I, I got they see. sucked. But yeah, yeah, that's uh, it, it was, yeah, it was a format that never, uh, never. Re- I think like a few movies got released on it, like. Uh, and they were like ones that where he had like special editions of behind the scenes. It's like the whole behind the scenes stuff. That's where that started to uh, take off. Yeah, the bonus features, which you don't get with digital stuff anymore. I guess that, you don't. Have. No, there's no bonus features anymore. Like uh, you know, you, you'd rent a DVD or you buy a DVD, and then like you'd uh, you get like you'd a watch direct, all the behind the scenes stuff, or like a director's commentary, or yeah, something like that. Yeah. Damn, I, I didn't even notice that. Uh, that makes me sad. That's how, how they get you. I'm just going to mope for the rest of this. I, I don't know who they are, but that's how they get you. Yeah, bonus features are yeah. great. I remember first DVD I rented was House on Haunted Hill, the, the 90s it's or 2000s. Oh, yeah. Uh, crap, who's in that? Um, I, I don't even remember who was in it. Oh, the girl from American Pie. Hannigan? No, she took her shirt off. I can't remember. On the webcam. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah. Pretty sure she was in that. I'll, I'll throw up a picture of her right about chill. There you go. There you go. But yeah, Transformers, GoBots. We, there's yeah. been other movies where there's been like kind of these weird. Uh, oh, yeah, like a Deep Impact and Armageddon came yep. out at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Saving Private Ryan and uh, was it uh, thin, thin, a Thin Red Line? Thin Red Line, yeah. They were back to back. Yeah. Um, oh, God. There's, there's probably a ton I'm forgetting. <laughs> But with but, yeah, they don't do that anymore. Yeah, but with those, you also get the ones like those were kind of like unintentional. It's just like two movies that had kind of the same premise at the same time. And were they unintentional? Well, I don't know. You do get the intentional ones mainly from the asylum. The asylum, <laughs> which I have. What a, which uh, I, asylum? I love. I, asylum. I got a I got a list of asylum films. Oh, you got a, oh okay. Yeah, oh, I man, brought it up. Okay, we're, yeah, we're for a treat. And they, they actually started off like. Not ripping off stuff like the first couple of years. Transmorphers. Yeah, Transmorphers. Uh, let's see. They got uh, King of the Lost World, which is a King Kong ripoff. Uh, let's see. Snakes on a Train. Snakes on a Train. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, I, I actually watched that one. <laughs> it was fantastic. Instead of the Da Vinci Code, you have the Da Vinci Treasure. <laughs> uh, instead of Halloween, you have Halloween Night. Funny thing about this, too, like I'm looking on Wikipedia. Like half the movies that they have listed there don't even have like a Wikipedia page, <laughs> and about eighty percent of the directors don't have a Wikipedia page. So they were kind of like one and done. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, they I also get, in, ha- get out. Yeah, Pirates of Treasure Island. Nice. P- Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Was, uh, was Johnny Jepp in that? <laughs> Johnny Jepp. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Instead of The Hills Have Eyes, they had Hillside Cannibals. Oh, they did a remake of that. Or, I mean, not remake, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Transmorphers instead of Transformers. Uh, they had uh, Alien versus Hunter instead of Alien versus Predator. <laughs> uh, what else? They did, apparently, they, they did a remake of the 1932 film Freaks called Freak Show. Oh, like the Browning? Yeah, l- l- like the original. Like the one of us, Google Gobble. Yeah. Yeah. The, apparently they did that back in 2007. They also did have, their own version of I Am Legend called I Am Omega. <laughs> That's amazing. Have you ever seen The Omega Man? Which yeah. is like, Charlton Heston? Yeah. Was, Hell yeah. Yeah, because that was based on like the same book as I Am Legend. Yeah. Yeah. That's an amazing movie. Yeah, that's a great one, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, and Soylent Green and Planet of the Apes. Charlton Heston has an amazing resume. Heston, yeah, man. I know uh, he's, he's kind of controversial with some people. The gun stuff. <laughs> uh, come on, he's been in some bangers. In- instead of Death Race, they had Death Racers. <laughs> Just put an S on the end, but you're good to go. <laughs> yeah. um, it worked for James Cameron. Yep. I don't know why you would rip off Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, but apparently they did with Ellen Quartermain and the Temple of the Skulls. Ellen Quartermain? Yeah, because Quart- Quart- that was a book series, Quartermain. Because uh, remember League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Yeah. Uh, Sean Connery, I think, played Quartermain in that. Man, that's a deep cut. Yeah. Well done, Asylum. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else do they have? And they're good at this. They're really good at this. <laughs> they, they did a journey to the center of the earth the same year that... that uh, the Rockman? Yeah. Or was it Brandon Fraser? Bra- yeah, it was Brendan Fraser. Uh, instead of Fast and Furious, they have Street Racer. <laughs> oh, come on. You could, you could have done better than that. They, they, Fast they, and they, Furious, but <laughs> speedy and needy. Okay, but okay. If you, were ripping off, if you were ripping off The Day the Earth Stood Still, what would you call it? Oh, no. I love that movie. The, the Day the Earth, earth Stopped. Oh, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay uh, now I'm getting mad. Apparently, there was a second War of the Worlds called The Next Wave. <laughs> the Mulligan? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, instead of Land of the Lost, the land that time forgot. Uh, Man, they are so good at this. And then in, in 2009, that's where we got Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus. They get start to get into the uh, shark stuff. Oh, like the, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sharknado stuff. Territory. Yeah. Um, yeah, Giant Squid. Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's see what else. Uh, the Terminators instead of uh, Terminator Salvation. They did a second Transmorphers called The Fall of Man. Nice. Yep. Which, uh, no, sorry. It's a prequel to Transmorphers. Oh, pre- oh sorry. Oh, some backstory? Yeah. 
Uh, they did a 2012 movie called 2012 Supernova. What's that a ripoff of? 2012. Which was like Dennis yeah. Quaid or someone? I can't remember. Uh, John Cusack. Cusack, yeah. I always get those confused. He's just like in a Cessna like for two and a half hours. Yeah. Uh, instead of paranormal activity, they had paranormal entity. Oh, di- yeah. man. Asylum has been busy. Apparently there's it's a busy. Titanic 2. Nice. I, I gotta. I what got, happens? I gotta see. Uh, yeah, we, I need some. <clears throat> Titanic Two is a 2010 drama disaster film written and directed by Shane Van Dyke, and distributed by the Asylum. Despite the title, it's not a sequel to the 1997 film. No, what? no kidding. But it's a mockbuster. If it's released direct to TV in Australia, okay. Huh. Premiered on Sci-Fi. Film was about a fictional replica of the Titanic. It sets off exactly 100 years after the original ship's maiden vo- voyage, but does the reverse route. But global warming... For the reverse route? Yeah, I guess it leaves so from, it, like, New York and heads towards Britain. Okay. Anyway, it hits an iceberg. <laughs> 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 Who could have guessed? Yeah. Just Do they back into the iceberg if they're doing the reverse route? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, remember there was a Prince of Persia movie? They decided to rip that off with the uh, oh my God. Seven Adventures of Sinbad. Yeah, wasn't that a Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. Movie? Mega Piranha. They, they, they have a, a seafood kind of... They are pretty fun. Yeah. Sharknado was sweet. I don't know if I made it all the way to three. Hell, there could be more. Yeah. I'm not even sure, but the Mega, first one was fun. Mega Shark versus Crocosaurus. There like, you go. Like their Mega Shark stuff is like original... It's just like a monster movie. Yeah. Kaiju. Why would anybody rip off Battle Los Angeles? But they did with Battle of Los Angeles. <laughs> I mean, John Carpenter's cool. Yeah. John Carpenter's great, but this is yeah, it's, it's a weird movie to, uh, I don't know, plagiarize. Okay. Uh, if you made a uh, Amityville horror ripoff, what would you call it? Uh, Amityville Nightmare. The Amityville Haunting. Oh, damn, that was close. Yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> I'll take it. Mega th- Python versus Gatoroid. There's a lot of kind of like Florida type fish, too. Well, Florida's terrifying. Yeah. At least their wildlife is. So it's like the astrology of America. Yeah, you got gators and yeah. you know, like all, everything, <laughs> all those things you just said. They did a ripoff of Battleship, of all things. Really? American Warships. Uh, have you ever seen Iron Sky? Yeah, but not in a long time. Yeah. Well, they, yeah, they did a the rip off of that with uh, Yahtzee's at the center of the earth. What, what's at the center <laughs> of the earth? <laughs> Yahtzee's? Yeah. Yahtzee's? Yeah. E- except with an N. Oh, Nazis. Yeah. Oh, okay, like the evil Germans. Okay. Yeah. Um, Are we not allowed to say that? I don't think so. Just, oh, that's getting us in trouble. Yeah. No. Oh, well. You just beep it out. Yeah. No, I'm going to leave it. Uh, Nazis see. are real. I was saying. Yeah. Uh, Atlantic Rim, of course, they did. Uh, yeah, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim knockoff. <laughs> the um, Atlantic Rim. <laughs> that age, uh, doesn't exist. They did an Edge of Tomorrow ripoff called Age of Tomorrow. Now, now we're getting, like, the later, the more films that they put out, like, the less... Ones that have, like, a Wikipedia entry. <laughs> it goes from, like, all blue to just, like, black, black, black. <laughs> no hyperlinks at yeah. all. Edge Tomorrow is great. That's the uh, Tom Cruise one. Yeah, but he keeps dying. Yeah. It's based on yeah, a good movie. Yeah, Japanese manga. Was it? Yep. Nice. Um, let's see. What else? Jail. They did something called Jailbait. Okay. Whoa. Um. Adventures Grim. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that apparently the they, Matt Damon movie. No, no apparently Terry they, Gilliam. They did their own Avengers. No, oh. they just called it Adventures Grim. Uh, let's see. That's strange. Instead of Mad Max Fury Road, they did Road Wars. Well, while you're looking this up, yeah, I'm gonna take a uh, take a moment to uh, propose a bit of a conspiracy theory I have. Okay. Destrove. From G.I. Joe? Yep. I'm pretty sure he was Dr. Claw in Inspector Gadget. Same voice? 
No, like the character. I, I, I think Inspector Gadget and G.I. Oh, Joe exist yeah. in the same universe. Sure. I think about it, he's always petting that cat. It, yeah. It's very Destro like. Gadget. Yeah. Yeah. So I the, think, does Destro have a voice like that? Like Cloud? Though? Like it's been a while since I've seen it. Uh, They're close. Yeah. I think one could be faked. Yeah. Because he always has his, you know, like he's always said, nah, nope, nope, don't do that. Yeah. You always, you would only see his hand and he would pet the cat. That yeah. was it. It's very Destro like. But yeah. you kind of catch like a glimpse of his shoulder from time to time. Yeah. <sighs> they How's released it? a okay. toy. Uh, where, uh, like, in in the packaging of the toy, they had his face covered. I remember seeing it in stores. Really? I never bought it or, or anything, but... Well, how did you not buy that? If my I, assum- that? my assumption oh, is, like, you know the, the mad logo from Inspector Gadget? Yeah. I, I assume that's what his face is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it is kind of cat-like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gadget. I, I think that might be Destro. <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah, he's, he's uh, pulling double duty. Cobra doesn't pay uh, pay the bills. Yeah, no. I mean, who's funding Cobra? Like, um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think. I mean, I mean, like, like in the movie, you find out like they're like an ancient, like reptilian race. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, maybe they don't need funding. They've been they've got like diamonds and jewels and. Well, if they're reptiles, maybe they got some of that Facebook money. Maybe. Yeah. What him with the Clintons? Could be. Oh my god. Could be. I think we just cracked the code. <laughs> um, yeah, went off the rails on that one. Yep. Yeah, uh, the asylum. Look him up on Wikipedia because, like, there's. And on Twitter, too. Yeah. Oh, did they have a if, Twitter? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. It, it, if Twitter's like, left in a week. Let's see what like, happens. they were doing one, two. They were doing, like, about 10 movies a year. Uh, in fact, they did they did a Top Gun Ma- Maverick ripoff back in what? 2020. <laughs> but, of course, Top Gun never released yeah, yet, so. right. <laughs> which is called Top Gunner. That's amazing. Yeah, neither the, the uh, director nor the movie have a <laughs> 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 have an actual Wikipedia link. So that's how you have to do it. Yeah. Oh, man. Asylum, don't stop. You know what? A movie doesn't have to be "quote unquote" good. It just yeah. has to be entertaining. If you're having a f- if you're having fun, then yeah. Yeah. That's, why, that's why people watch The Room. I mean, yeah, The Room's I not a movie. good movie, but it's or Troll Two. Yeah, <laughs> Troll Two is amazing. Oh I've my God, that. they're eating her! <laughs> no, they're gonna eat me! Oh my! Yeah. That, no, that movie's amazing. Yeah, not because. Yeah, not because it wanted to be or tried to be. Or, yeah. Funny thing about it, it's like they're not actually trolls because they're goblins. The the name of the town is Nilbog, which yeah, is goblin, goblin backwards. backwards. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, there's a there was a documentary that came out about that as well, and it kind of followed up on like some of the actors after. Yeah, it was like, like the I remember, worst movie ever made or something. Like that. Yeah, yeah. I I think like the the guy who played like the father, like he was it was kind of sad actually because I, I think that like, that was like the only highlight of his life. And like he keep bringing it up to people, it's like, yeah, I was, I was in Troll too. It was like, <laughs> people just like mock him for it. Yeah, that's and, that. Troll yeah. two, Troll two is has lives rent free in a lot of hearts. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that documentary. I remember seeing the uh, ever see American movie. Oh, was that the Franco? Oh wait. It it uh, it was about like a small town like indie f- filmmaker. Oh yeah, yeah, and he, a coven or a coven. I can't remember. Yeah, that he's trying to make a witch movie. Oh yeah, and they yeah. get in an argument. Okay, yeah, yeah it's coming back. Yeah, he was getting like his neighbors and stuff to start it, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got like, those thick glasses, long hair, skinny, yeah, yeah, tall. That's the one. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Being, was that real? I hold on. I'll t- I'll tell you. I don't think it was, because didn't like a American I movie. I, um, I want it to be real. Documentary film. But it just feels like it's not. Um, kind of looks like it is. It's not called a mockumentary. It's just like a 1999 documentary film. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. That's good news. The making of cousin. If that's true. 
Kevin's got his own thing. Yeah. Mark Borchardt. That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, direct a video film. Yeah. But look up American movie because it's uh, yes. it's really amazing. entertaining. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing documentary. And I'm. It's one of the, well, uh, you brought up the fact that is that real? It's one of those kind of yeah. so bizarre things. Like, it, you know, the people in it are so, you know, yeah, b- bizarre that you, you're you not can't sure. Help but question it. It's like, yeah. is, is this an episode of Trailer Park Boys or? I kind of like it. Kind of feels like that. It's like if the Trailer Park Boys wanted to make a movie and that was like their only ambition. I'm going to choose to believe that it's legitimate and real. Yeah. That's that's the world I want to live in. Yeah, well, according to uh according to Wikipedia it is. So There you go. We'll see. So someone will know. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or Fubar. <laughs> you ever watch Fubar? I feel like I have. What what's it about? Uh it's just a bunch of, like a pair of buddies just doing stupid stuff. Kind of like really, yeah. I mean, yeah. There's like there is kind of a plot. It's all over the place. It takes like half an hour to describe it. Yeah, that's me copping out because I don't remember the movie very well. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, yeah, you go jumping in some rivers. Yeah, dude dies. That see, I <laughs> thought that was American movie. What was that? Uh, oh man, now we're yeah, we're like getting all mixed up. Yeah, on our uh, so. But Home I, video I think Canadian. I think I think you're right because I think Fub because Fubar was almost like it was like a mockumentary. Yeah, yeah. I, see, but I, people were like kind of like, eh, how real is this actually? Uh, all right, let me let me uh, look, let, let me look up Fubar. Yeah, hit the Google machine. On the internet dot com. Uh, film. Uh, Fubar film. Oh, it's Canadian too. Apparently. Yep. Yep. Uh, follows uh, two headbangers. Yeah, it's a film, so it's not a not a documentary. Uh, I remember right. It was like presented as a documentary. I think it was. I, th- I think it was uh, filmed entirely on a Canon XL1 a shoestring bu- budget. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I remember seeing that. Um, so... It- Speaking yeah. of films, uh, I watched Heavy Metal 2000 recently. Yeah, I forgot they updated Heavy Metal. Well, yeah, well, like the original Heavy Metal was more of a anthology because like they had this kind of this theme of this orb that would like appear in like every uh, kind of short. Yeah, and it yeah. was it was sci-fi. It was you know it's uh, based on like the Heavy Metal magazine. So it's uh, gonna watch it. Uh, there's some TNA uh, type stuff, but he- Heavy Metal 2000 is just like a singular plot oh yeah you got michael ironside voicing the uh, nice. villain um love me t- love me some michael ironside yeah he didn't get enough play well, he well i mean he's starship voiced. troopers total recall yeah he also did some video ga- video game voicing he was sam fisher in splinter cell oh nice yeah i know it. and uh, i think i mentioned this before was it him that was in that v thing because i told you about v before about the reptilian aliens it was like a series I, I think I got you to pull up like a clip of a lady eating a hamster or something once. <laughs> that was that was the I think Michael Ironside was in one of those, but yeah, uh, he's got like this great gravelly voice. Yeah, uh, yeah, and very distinctive. But yeah, uh, Heavy Metal two thousand. Um, see, I think I saw it before, but I forgot about it. It's, it's one of those films. I can't say I've seen it. Yeah, but maybe I have, and I'm in the same boat. This is like I watched it, but yeah. It's very much a background film. I, I don't think it did very well because I don't know. Yeah, I think it was kind of a flop. But was a uh, Ralph Bakshi attached to that? He did. He like, might. You know what? It looked kind of. I didn't see his name on the credits. Hold on. Because I know he did the original. Heavy and like Fritz the Cat and Lord of the Rings. Uh, Heavy Metal Two Thousand. Oh, apparently it was based on a story which Kevin Eastman was involved in, and Kevin Eastman was one of the guys who created the Ninja Turtles. Huh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, Billy Idol's in it. I've actually been listening to a lot of Billy Idol oh, lately, yeah? which is kind of funny. He's got He's got some hits, man. Got a favorite? Ooh. Eyes Without a Face is sweet. Yep. White Wedding. White Wedding's classic. Great. Yeah. yeah. 
Dancing with myself, I never, I, I could never get on board with. No. Yeah, White Wedding is like a great one. Rebel Yell. Yep. Yeah, he's got some. He's got some. God, I'm trying, I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some hits. Yeah. Uh, did it make money? Doesn't say. Had a budget of fifteen million for which for an animated movie seems really low. But, hmm. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, it it definitely feels like a two thousand. 2000s movie. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely feels like it. But yeah. What, it's, it's, what it, makes it like, why, what makes I, it say that? I can't, I can't pinpoint it, but I remember watching is, I, I think part of it's like the, the animation style and stuff like that and the shading that they use. Like it feels like in that era. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but I don't know. I like the first heavy metal better though. When it was kind of like yeah. little set pieces. John Candy did some voices in the original one as well. Yeah, wasn't he one of like the aliens who like was doing I, all that coke? I think he did. He played like two parts. He was like, because he played like this kid who finds the orb and then he gets transformed into like a buff guy. Oh, yeah. And he was also like an alien or like a robot in one of them. John Candy, man. Yeah. Uncle Buck. <laughs> Such a good man. Yeah. Everything he was in was good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was a classic guy. He should have been in Beetlejuice. Really? I, I don't know. I don't know in what capacity. Capa- yeah. But I just, I feel like, I mean, I, I love Beetlejuice. Yeah. But if John Candy was in it, it just would have made it a little better. I can't believe Michael Keaton is Beetlejuice, though. Like that. Yeah. He's like, going to do it again, too, apparently. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think he's slated to be like, Batman again, like in like a Flash movie or something as well. What? Really? Yeah, I think so. Michael Keaton's donning the donning the cape. Oh, well, I guess he's going to play like a like an old Batman. Oh, that would make Cause sense because he, he's an old man. But yeah, huh? That'd be cool. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. DC DC's uh, superhero yeah. movies haven't been. I, I still haven't watched the the four hour. Uh, oh, a Snyder Cut? Snyder Cut. And I don't know if I ever will. Hey, hey who's got time for, for that? And Seriously. Yeah. I don't even know if I watched the original. Yeah, I did. I didn't. Yeah. I haven't seen a DC movie since... Um, I, I I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they Well, I did that. They did that kind of second, like, Suicide Squad soft reboot recently. Which was decent. Oh, was it the Harley Quinn and her, like, gang? Uh, no. Well, they did that Harley Quinn movie, which kind of fell off. Actually, I guess the last DC movie I saw was Suicide Squad. Yeah. It's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the newer yeah. one's got uh, John Cena, who they spun off to his own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, get the name of it. But, oh. yeah, John Cena got his own, like, television series out of that. American something? The... the yeah, he plays like a justice something. Uh, my my DC knowledge yeah, is terrible. No, no. Anyway, yeah, we're forty minutes in, man. Really? Yeah. Cool. Good. Oh, uh, I do want to recommend a video game. Oh, it's super cheap. It's like three bucks on Steam. It's called oh, Steam. Yeah, Vampire Survivors, and uh, basically it's like if you took. It's like an overhead thing, and basically you control like a little character, and you have basically all the weapons from uh, the Castlevania games. And there's a horde of like undead creatures that you have to survive for for 30 minutes, and you pick up all sorts of like power ups and items, and it's it's, it's fun for three it's three bucks. You I got recommend. Three dollars. Yeah. Yep. I recommend it. Nice. Yep. Uh, see now, now I feel I need to recommend something myself. <laughs> Minimum pressure. Um, Deadly Class is cool on Netflix. Watch that. Oh, I haven't seen it. What's it about? Uh, it's basically a high school. Yeah. Where they take all these like uh down on their luck teenagers and train them to be assassins. Oh, okay. And there's a lot of drama. It's like Saved by the Bell, but everyone's a ninja. Okay. And it's also a readable comic from Image Comics. Nice. 
I can lend you that one if you want. I am still working my way through Chew. I'm, I'm chewing my way through it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, Deadly Class. Good show. It's yeah. actually a really good show. Still recommend Chew as well. Yes. Yeah. I wish that was a show. I would love to see yeah. that. It is, it's so crazy, like, how they the, – the, these food-based powers, like, how yeah, many so they, they can come up with. Like, it's – Oh, man, you're just getting started, too. Yeah. So you're in for a treat. Yeah. Because they get crazier. I bet. I bet. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I think we can wrap this one up there. That yeah, feels good. Yeah. All right. Everyone's still in focus. Good stuff. <laughs> uh, Bit Shoot, Odyssey, I'll probably just fill the screen with both of those logos. Yep. And, uh, yeah, thanks for... I, we always give shout-outs to our, like, eight subscribers. Yep. But we're neglecting our viewers. So thanks for clicking on that thumbnail. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hitting that play button. Yeah. Appreciate you. For sure. And and as I mentioned earlier, we hope to actually get out and about and yes. doing some stuff as it, if it warms up. It will. It's got to. <laughs> when? Who knows? I, I hope so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm Michael Forward. I'm Chris Raskowski. We'll did see you next uh, time. Oh, oh, did I nope. cut you off? No, nope, go well, ahead. We, should, we, should we do that again? I'm not going to edit, it, edit no. this out. Shit. Not, not, that's the worst start. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to say? Say it. Bit shoot. Odyssey. Uh, YouTube. Yep. We appreciate every single uh, time you click on that play button. For sure. For sure. T tell Thank your you. friend. Yeah. <laughs> Make a friend. And yeah. then Make a friend. And yeah, that, d just recommend this. All right. Wait, all right. I'm good. Do. I'm good. Okay. I'm done. I'm Michael Forward. <laughs> I'm Chris Raskowski. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Have a good week, everybody. Bye. You betray the law. Law.